like millions of children all around the world, these children are born to be happy. They have the same right to happiness, to school education, to protection, to care and concern. But the fate of these children of the third world is quite different. We are on the streets to beg for money to give to our mother and our father and for our food. Every day we wake up, we do the works of the house as sweeping and washing and we come on the streets all day long to look for money. This money helps out for our food and other needs. We would like to go to school, to be able to read and write, to get a job, to do everything. My father, since I was a baby, he also worked around the street begging for money the same way as my sisters and I, we are doing it today. Now he is tired and is unable to be on the streets. We have to get money for him, for food. That's why we are on the streets to beg for money, whip the wine screen of cars. I beg money from people and sometimes they insult me. Sometimes they give me. That's how it is. On the street from 8 a.m. till 9 p.m., these children's only playing ground is the pavement of the deacon's crossroad, and even when night comes and tiredness weaken them, they are deprived the right to rest and sometimes harshly sent back to work by their brother and supervisor. When finally enough money is gathered and they depart from the street to go back home, what kind of expectancies and dreams could their night carry? Tomorrow, they'll come back again and as Sule has done it from his five years old until his 19th today, Helen and Lina will surely continue the same way, slaves of the generational poverty of their parents. When parents are unable to care for their children, who will care for these children? For now, in this year 2010, at the Deacon's Crossroad, no one seems to care. <laughs>